not getting too tripped up by that. Not letting it get mixed. Punishing it if you can, but at the very least, not getting hit by it. And we're gonna see if Sarme is able to deal with that. And I see a Diana on the screen, which that got me hyped. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been a while. Yeah. Like, it's been a while since we've seen, uh, like, it mostly, uh, from from today, we've seen a, a healthy dosage of the Mordex, but this is not unfamiliar for Sarmin whatsoever. Like Sparky, <laughs> like historically, how like I'm how, trying how to dig in. Well, while we're waiting for that, also this stage, by the way, the the embodiment of like the the, the, the baits and the strong uh, six. This is where you're gonna see it because yeah. you're gonna be seeing GC uh, neutral stick reversals attempts because you want to go off stage after Teros, but you probably shouldn't because Delta's waiting for you. Yeah, and the fact is, like. Diana is also one of those legends who has some incredibly aggravating six to deal with. Oh like, yeah, baby. The side signature on Bo that picks uh, up so is behind. just the weirdest Dude, places. It's so weird. The D sig on Bo that is your like game changing mm -hmm. signature. You pick it up in the right spot. The best people know exactly where they need to pick it up in order for it to go over that corner and really be that huge dunk. I think a big part of why we're seeing that Diana here too is I don't want to fight you. I don't want. I, I, like, <laughs> That's you, real. you stay, stay over there. Away. You stay over there. I'm gonna stay here. And, but so far, oh, Delta that down sig. Yeah, Delta has done a great job of kind of invalidating that part. Damage mitigation was good, but we do see a stock loss finally. But with blasters, with bow, it's all about that spacing game. But Delta always finds a way to close the gap, and that's the scariest part about him maneuver with his character. Oh man, that D light into the end sig is one of those things you gotta watch out for, especially near the ledge. <laughs> Caught the recovery, will be able to jump right back to the stage. But Delta trying to answer back here and get this last little. Hit to potentially get a KO. I love just watching the difference between the two of their pacings, where it was like Sarme, nice. which just came out and like did 14 dashes in half oh, of a second, oh. and then Delta just went and walked up and said, I hit you with the X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I picked things up, I put them down is the best way to put it. And also, we're picking wow. up a lead here for Sarme coming in. It was a start to Delta, and Sarme bringing it right back. Sarme's edge guards have actually been incredible all day, too. We were comparing mm -hmm. them to Acno a yep. little while ago. So I. I, I do not think we are in for a boring set by any means. There's going to be a oh my lot gosh, of people off stage. Oh, Go for one right he now. He went for it. Wow, he telegraphed that one too. Impressive work, getting even before that, getting that beautiful string right before that. Sarme's bow play is incredible. Even though this is oh. level 48, Diana, the neutral light is going to take that stock away. Delta's going to toss his axe, grab a hammer, hoping he can oh. grab the next one, but it goes right to Sarme. Yeah, Sarme summoned that weapon, as I like to call it, where it just spawns right where he needed it. And just like that, he's going to be able to scrap out with this bow a little bit more. But Delta doing things in Taro's fashion. One hit, two hit, three hit, four. Oh, snap, you're about to be knocked out the door if he's able to go ahead and secure this but that delay recovery is going to be enough sarme able to close out game one the diana looking good and he's been able to find like i, I wonder what his accuracy is on the signature count there because he got like at least two different n6 he got a down to on bow as well he's looking good First off, I have to say, I refused to speak until you were... Fi yeah, I was going to let you ride out the whole thing because the rhyme and the smoothness was just going too good. <laughs> kind of like the end of that play. And you're right, I'm actually curious to see what the accuracy Young was Sims. on that. It was just so clean. Well, we're not going to see that just yet. We're going to see a uh, stage switch here. More access to walls. I think that is the correct play for survivability because yeah. you may have thought that worked out for you on that stage, but Sarme showed exactly why everybody's been having a rough time with those uh, with the offstage play. Now, talking about those signatures you mentioned earlier, he's 44% accurate with those out okay. of nine, which means he hit just a little bit under half, but still, you saw how effective all of those mm -hmm. were. He didn't just hit a random sig in the middle of the stage to put out, like, 22 damage, hooray! No, it was these, like, major moments that he could actually build oh. a lot of pressure oh. off of, but he might get taken out here. Oh. oh, turns that one around real quick, hits the ground pound, Sarme, with the blasters in his hands for a rare moment. He's mostly been a bow boy. That's so facts. Yeah. How many times today have we seen Sarme reverse offstage play? It mm -hmm. happened a bunch earlier, kind of, uh, Kind of unfortunately for Fozy trying to box off stage for some reason. <gasps> but oh. we might see another one here getting back on with the recovery, dodging the attempt from Delta. The weapon toss keeping him pressured. Wow. Oh, the oh top side God. hits it. Oh, oh. Delta right. would be so mad right now. All right, Sarme has plot armor. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Things are going so well for Sarme in every regard when it comes to those plays. 
Oh man, dude, that that definitely has me fuming for him, dude. But he gets a delight recovery. It's still not enough. Now I'm still fuming for him because I could have <laughs> been his stock. But you know what? He'll be able to adapt. He has a whole stock lead. It's whatever. It's really up to Delta here to try and mount this KO. Granted, you know, like it. Look, it that, it that, is what it is. This is this is an even game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fine. That was like, Taros. So boom. It's Taros. So a, a fresh stock, even game. Neutral air, not gonna take off the top yet. Gonna need a little bit more mustard than that. You saw him go for the recovery. Oh. Yo, Delta's adding up some damage. Like one nice. more hit, Sarmay's gonna be orange. That's gonna shrink that lead just a little bit more. He's searching wow. for it. Yep, the wow. side air turned him orange. Oh my god. One more hit, I think he's gonna be red. Yeah, he, he, like even though he ended up losing the stock right there, incredible job from Delta able to eat like Bringing, being able to bring that back, and all you need now is just one good call out once you get that weapon back. Or granted, giving up stage position, Sarmi's gonna push him away. He does get back to the hammer though, so that stock is on borrowed oh. time. That's gonna be a lot of damage there as well. Get the hit. <laughs> wow, oh man, Delta just kind of getting clapped up for the past like 15 seconds or so, trying to find this KO. Still has the recovery, so we're chilling. Yup, scoop, not gonna be enough to KO from that low on the stage. Another one? I don't think so, but maybe wow. a third. I'm actually very surprised that he's still in it. And that, now just getting okay, pushed back against Sarmin. Sarmin <laughs> going deep plus H with the same Sparky. He's kind of filthy. <laughs> like I was, I was wondering what his blasters were gonna look like. They're looking pretty dang good. It's not just bow here, even though a lot of it is focused mm -hmm. on the bow. His bow is incredible, but his blasters are solid too. I'm really liking this oh, Diana pick. Delta drop. trying to get a little bit saucy there, but he couldn't handle it. Yeah, he needed to get that chase dodge for the recovery, to kind of do like that beginning conversion of the Russian Mafia, essentially. But instead, he just like got the stomp and then just I was unable. He got a Sare instead, missing put, and it cost him the game. So shout out to Sarme there for being able to close that out. I mean, honestly, that game was pretty convincing. All yeah. Things considered. Yeah, like even even with the attempts, like I like the attempt from Delta because you're trying to go for the big play. You're trying to get you're trying to get uh, Sarme frustrated for deciding the box with you so much off stage. Sarme still just keeps winning out on all the off stage engagements. You whip one single time, including with the blasters like you're talking about before. We didn't see a whole lot of that. They put in the most work probably in that game. I barely saw any bow. It looks so good there in game Three, number two. two. And that's honestly, those offstage engagements are really why I kind of want to see a Sarmay victory here. Mm. Because I want to see what he does when he goes up against a Swata, a Godly, or an Akno in those Ooh. situations. No disrespect to Delta, but or any of the other players that Sarme has just been absolutely handling on the edge. His edge guards are so incredible with both weapons, including the tosses and the unarmed kit. Everything about whatever character he plays, he uses all of the tools in the toolkit, on stage and off. There's one of those beautiful D6s oh, we like to talk about. Perfect catch, dude. That's just a perfect edge guard. I, yeah. that, that's just that was pristine. It's pristine. I'm telling you, I want that chart. Like I, I want that chart so bad to see exactly how many times you decided to engage off stage and Sarmay walked out on top. And Delta is currently having a whole healthy dose of a bullet with his name on it right now, trying to just get back to the stage and having an impossible time with it. Sarmay blasters, man. They're clean. They just have a really nice flow to them. Took a little bit of punishment there. We'll see if he's able to get back. Oh, Delta actually went out. Hit the nice D-Light ground pound there. One of the few successful, like, major edge guards we've seen. And it was in a good time, too. Yeah, yeah. This wasn't four minutes deep into the game where Sarmay already had 450 damage added up on his stock. That was a beautiful one, Ajax. No, it was one of those tougher edge guards to get as well because, like, you can drift a little bit with that recovery to catch somebody, but he was able to space it out perfectly where he could get that grab to cancel D-Light in the right spot right after the hitbox was done and get the finish with the ground pound. Hey, you can see the confidence of Sarmi because Sarmi's pretty much playing three-weapon game right now. He's been boxing with unarmed, gets back to the blasters. I think the blasters are pretty much the way to go right now. Just continue to space. Even if the stairs don't catch every time, that, that stair just barely missing the KO there. Delta's had a very rough go of it, just missing the D-Lights though. Delta Whoa, can't get what? a lead, wow. and gets one right there, gets the stock, and Delta's chances, very slim, but still staying alive. Yeah, Flambo said what after that gravity cancel side yeah. signature? Uh, I 100% agree <laughs> with that word. Uh, man, I don't really know what that was. Delta wasn't anywhere near him. I don't think there was any chance for Delta to be anywhere near him, yeah. no matter what. A dash jump wasn't going to get him there. So that might have been Sarme feeling a little bit himself too much. Maybe got a little bit lost in the sauce. And now he's behind. So we'll see if he kind of changes oh. things. Not afraid to go really deep down nice. on the edge. He's going to eat a big boot. Delta going to capitalize on that. Take the game and keep himself alive. Okay. Okay. Games like that are what... Th that's what starts reverse 3-0s. Yep. Like, I know you just Absolutely. got a W. And sure, that's easy to say. 
but that was the two stock. And the especially that big GC side sig off stage. We yeah. saw that earlier, which kind of worked, but it was he was up two stocks at the time, so like it was worth it. But that was a big play that you needed at the time, mm -hmm. and that is definitely going to be a big confidence booster for Delta moving forward. Oh man, I don't know. We'll see if Delta is able to go ahead and bring things back. So far, this game starting off not quite in the favor. Sarme going for a quick ground pound off stage, see if he can get a quick one. But despite that, oh, oh, Ooh. <laughs> all right, hold your all right, all right. The true Delta form has started to show up. We're seeing a lot come out, and that's the stuff we talked about before. You throw them out, even if they win, that's a tarot signature. You do not. Want to get hit by that, so you back off intentionally, and that's going to give him temple control. Oh, oh, what a catch! He is rejecting modern gameplay and reverting to tradition with the tarot signatures. That's what he needs to do. We have indeed, we're reverting back to our primal yes, form here. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh man, and I'm like, we just saw once again the D-Light and Sig, I believe, come out from Sarme to go ahead and secure a stock off the side. Like, we can't talk enough about how good Diana's signatures are for not one, securing KOs, but two, specifically off stage. Like, even if it doesn't KO outright, it just puts you in the worst possible positions ever, dude. It feels like the punishment never ends. There are multiple spiking signatures that don't they don't necessarily have like the best strength behind them like in a Surrey dunk mm -hmm. or a Mordex dunk but no you're exactly right they put you in such a powerful position based on where you actually pick them up and that's the best Diana players nice. in the world know exactly where to pick them up so that they can maximize that power position Delta definitely keeping himself in this he's only in the orange has control of the weapons right now we'll see where the next spawn comes in throws his weapon away but does pick up the axe keeping Sarm weapon star yeah weapon star is actually so important right now because you need to take this time to get this back to even because if you see and there it is once Sarme got ah. access to a weapon you're gonna be running now you it's exactly spo. you have to run because you can't box anymore and now just getting yep. called out on the recovery back in with the dare into the stair incredible coverage from Sarme that all dictated by Delta not being able to keep that weapon away. Yeah, and uh, I mean, especially, I mean, Delta, he had a 50-50 there. He either jumps after getting hit by the down air or he tries to fastball out. He got caught on the jump, lost the stock because of it. But Delta, oh no. Oh, oh man, he's doing him not even. Oh, no. Look, oh, yeah. Flambo, that is the perfect, you, you nailed it. You were talking about that, and he showed it to us right there. That was a neutral signature in yellow. Mm -hmm. That didn't send him off screen. That didn't send him kissing the blast zone, but it put him in that perfect place where all it took was that down air to get the orange KO. Sarme has been doing everybody dirty this entire bracket. Straight run. up. Just like, hey, there's the confidence level in Sarme. This... You were talking about return to form 2019 Sarma. I think you're getting it here today. Oh man. The biggest thing is like he's making great players look like good. Yeah. Not 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 great. They don't look bad, but He's making them look like worse players than they are mm -hmm. with just the absolute confidence and swag that he's playing today. And that